What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We're back at Copart for another Copart walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. How about a Cadillac CTS with stretched Vogues? You remember the mayonnaise and mustard from back in the day? Used to, you'd find these wheels on some Daytons, you know, some hundred spoke Daytons with knockoffs. Oh man, those were the days. Now back then, Back then, okay, it wasn't about how big your rims were. It wasn't about the inches, you know, 24s, 26s. It was about the spokes, right? You had 100 spoke Daytons. And, and most of the time, you would find big body Cadillacs and those big old Caprices with the Euro clips. You guys remember that? They had the slanted back window, the angled back window. Oh, man. You would find them riding on 13 inch Daytons. 13 inch deep dish Dayton's on Vogue's 100 spokes with knockoffs man I miss those days I really I loved those cars I loved the cars when they had the small rims and they had the Dayton's with the Vogue's on them uh this one I'm just showing you because it kind of it took me back for just a minute seeing Vogue's it's not every day you see Vogue's on anything anymore guys and uh seeing them really got my attention Here's something else that caught my attention. I was walking by it and I found an Audi Q5 Quattro. Unfortunately, a four cylinder. We've been through this in another video. It is what it is. It's just, it's just how things are going these days. What, what's wrong with this one? This one is not wrecked. There's no hail damage that I can see. Okay, what is this? Uh, oh, a flood. It's a 2018 and it's a flood. I love floods. I really have a good time with floods. The first thing we gotta do is find out how bad does it stink? All right, how bad was this flood? Oh, it was bad. Oh, it was bad. Oh, it was bad. It was, it was real bad. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> okay. All right. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yeah, this is this is bad. This is really bad. It looks like whatever happened, oh, the the water must have been mostly on the on the driver's side, not the passenger side. Oh wow. Mm. Yeah, let's take a look over here. I'm I'm opening the door so I can let it breathe. I'm trying not to. This smells this smells really bad. So if you look over here on the driver's side, here's what you'll see. You'll see all of the flood water. You'll see all the crap from the flood water that came in here and it's all over. I mean, it goes high guys. It even goes over this hump right here. You can see it, some of the sticks and stuff in the middle. Yeah, this water, uh, this water came up pretty good. Doesn't look like it made it to the seats. If it did, they cleaned it and I can't see it. I'm looking for a water line on the side and uh, I can't see it. I don't see a definitive water line anywhere. Um, sometimes you really have to look in the doors to see them. So we'll open this door and a lot of times you can find a water line in here on the A pillar, but I don't see it in there either. Yeah, I, I don't know how high the water got. This has power? Are you kidding me? Surely this, oh, wow. My nose is starting to run. Surely this thing is not okay. It's got a, let's try it. Uh-oh, is that a dead battery or is that a locked up engine? 64,000 mile, electrical system low. Maybe just a dead battery. Transmission malfunction. Now it doesn't even want to try to start. Well, remote control key, hold against designated area. Well, it would help if I knew where the designated area was. Yeah, now it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to do anything. Where's the Where's the stupid designated area? I don't know. Normally, it's got a picture of a key on it, but I don't see anything. So I have no idea what this thing is talking about. Well, that's great. I guess we're not going to get to. Uh, try to start this one then are we it sounded like it wanted to man see if the key fob gets forgotten by the car you have to take the fob but it works see it works 
I don't know. There's a certain place you have to hold it. Like you have to take it and push it against the the side or push it under. I I, I don't know. Every manufacturer is different. I'm gonna try it one more time. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't sound like it's trying to crank at all. Okay, let me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cry me a river, okay? Well, let me pop the hood. Who knows? Maybe this is worth trying to give a jump to. What do you think? I don't think it's going to run, though, guys. I don't. I think this one is... Come on. I think this one is done. Oh, the water went over the engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is... I think this is a wrap. Look at all of that down there. All the debris over the frame. Look how easy this is to work on, though. Look at the transmission. I don't think I've ever seen an Audi that was this easy to wrench on. Should we throw a jump on it and see what it does? Let's throw a jump on it, man. What's the worst thing's gonna happen? It's not gonna run? You know? Okay, well, it already doesn't run, so... Best case scenario, it starts up, and I put this on my watch list. Oh, wow, look at all the mud. How high did this get? Oh, goodness. I think... I don't know, I'm wondering if the whole front end didn't didn't sink under the under the water sometimes i wonder how some of this stuff happens you know what i mean we'll go we'll go ahead and throw a jump on it why not man it's not gonna hurt anything there you go where's the uh let's find the grounding point right here let's give her a little uh make sure it's on there make sure make sure she's got the juice now she's got the juice so if it doesn't start this time well then it's just done i take a chance on this one i would assuming i can get it to even crank if i could even get it to crank oh it still smells oh good lord here we go nah nah uh -uh. nope that engine is seized yeah all right well let's shut it off is that off that's on that's off okay uh, i thought as much I did, but it was worth a shot, guys. I wonder where the... Oh, they don't have dipsticks anymore, do they? No, they don't have dipsticks anymore. Long gone are the days of dipsticks. So, you just don't know. You just don't know unless you try. We tried, and we lost on this one. Better than buying it and finding out you lose after the fact. Well, let's walk around and see what else we can find out here today. Uh, there's a Lexus. I get a lot of people ask me if I'd show more Lexuses. So why don't we take a look? It's just an ES350, pretty pretty basic Lexus, but I love the color. And I'm, I have had a, I've had a couple of Lexuses on the channel, haven't I? Oh, well, yeah, nope. No, let's continue. There'll be something else out here. How about a Volkswagen? A good old Volkswagen right here. I'm still looking for a beetle. I swear, one day, one day I'm gonna get a beetle. Ooh, a Malibu. This is gonna be an LTZ, isn't it? Uh, I, I like the look of the Malibu. I really, really do. Yeah, it's a Premier. It's a 2.0 turbo, but I want to keep my Impala. I love my Chevy Impala. And I can't believe I'm even saying that. All the cars, all the vehicles I've had, and I'm just absolutely in love with my with my Impala. I don't care. It's not even an LTZ. It's like a 1LT Impala. And I absolutely love that silly thing. Uh, averaging 28 miles a gallon. That's average, not highway. I'm averaging 28 miles a gallon with a big 300 horsepower V6 with direct injection. Yeah, all day long. <gasps> it's still here? What are you doing here, man? I thought this was long gone. This sold. I can't believe it's still here. Man, I won this thing over and over and they just wouldn't let it go because they wanted like 500 or $600 for it. And I just, I can't justify that guys. I can justify five or 600 for a Mercedes that has, you know, the exhaust sticking out of the hood. But I, 
I can't justify five or six hundred dollars for this, mainly because this has too many issues. All right, it's a pedal car. Come on, pull it up. Let's see. It says it's sold. It sold August the 8th. No kidding. So it's gone. But this is what it hold on. What is today? This is August the 14th. It's still sitting here. Thank you, Siri. I didn't ask. Did anybody hear me ask Siri what the date was? I didn't. That damn thing is always listening to everything I say. It, it bothers me. It really does. I don't like that. It's like it's eavesdropping. Maybe it's recording me. I, I have no idea. Big Brother's listening to me walking around Copart. You know? <laughs> I don't know what the point of that would be. But anyway, is this a Chevy, uh, Chevy Malibu RS? I do like the Malibu. I really do. There's something about the shape of it. It looks really sporty. I mean, it's not. You know, it's it's not a fast car by any stretch of the imagination. Well, neither is the Impala for that matter, and neither is the SHO. In fact, most of my cars are not fast. They're just fun. I just like the look of the Malibu. I, I don't know why. I really do. I like the look of the Malibu. Ooh, a yellow Charger. It's just a base model in it. V6. V6, yeah, V6. No Hemi badges. She's just a six-cylinder. 2010. Ooh, somebody, somebody was rubbing. Somebody was doing some Dale Earnhardt. Oh, uh, yeah, SXT base model. Still nice car. I drive it. I drive it. Not like this, but I drive it. I drive a V6. I don't care. I drive a V6 currently. <laughs> I don't care. Today, however, I drove my Chevy SSR up here because the uh, the Impala is actually on its way to the auto spa so right now I'm top down enjoying my uh, my banana truck convertible thing and uh, I really love that car too I really do it's been sitting on the lift for about a month or so now and it's nice to be back in it again so it looks like we've run through this entire row but if you guys want to they got some pick-em-up trucks over there let me go get my car and we'll move around. A couple things before we, we do. I saw this and just broke my heart, man. Broke my heart. I, I, don't, I don't even know. No words, you know what I mean? Just, that's, that's horrible. That's, that's horrible. Um, I was actually walking on my way over to this cool old truck right here. And I, uh, I just kind of stumbled across this. And it's... Uh, yeah, anyway, when you come out here week after week after week to these uh, these salvage auctions, you see a lot of, you see a lot of that, a, a lot, a, a lot more. There's a lot of things I have seen out here in some of these cars that uh, it gives me a whole new respect for first responders because all I get to see is the aftermath. And I've seen I've seen things in the cars and I, I can only imagine what the people who originally showed up to the accident you know, man, mad respect to the police, fire department, paramedics that, uh, that that have to go out there and do this. You know, they they do this because it's what they want to do. Um, they have a drive to uh, help people, even in some of the worst circumstances. So, uh, again, mad respect for those of you that are out there putting your lives on the line to save others. Now, this thing is just super cool. Um, I don't know what it is. It looks like an old Chevy. That's, that's about all I can get from it. It's an old Chevy and it's an S1700 or is it a Kodiak? It's an international. Hell, hell, I thought it was a Chevy. I don't know. Something about the lights just made me think it was a Chevy. It's an old international, a 1985 international S1700. Now, I would love to try to start this, but Ooh. There's a nest under there. Uh, I don't know what, I can't get you guys. I don't know what's under there, but there's a, there's a nest of something under that door handle. How cool is this? Oh, I want this. What would I do with it? I have no idea. It's probably not in any shape to be driven on the roads. But I, I love it. I love it. Let me, uh, let's just pop the hood real quick. I'm just curious. Let me make sure there's no nests. Oh, a lot of sticks. Yeah, this thing's been sitting for a long time. 
I'm assuming this is a diesel. Oh, oh my oh, good lord. Easy. There we go. Well, let's just take a quick peek at what we're working with under here. Yeah, that's a diesel. That's a diesel. I would love to try to fire this thing. Oh, it's missing the, uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. When the brake reservoir has no caps and you can tell it's been sitting for years and years. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not something you'd want to be taking out on the road anytime soon. Looks like the gearbox is leaking like crazy. The engine, however, the engine doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad at all. Hell, this thing probably run. International Harvester. You know, they lose their prime, but once you get that prime back, they fire right up. Diesel, diesel is so cool. I, I love diesel, I really do, because it's one of the rare things today that you could park, you could leave sitting for a couple of years, three years, five years, 10 years, and once you get out there and you get the prime back, it, they'll fire right up. You don't have to worry about replacing the fuel pump and clean. Now, algae will probably be growing in the fuel system, but you can put some cleaner in there, drive it, and get that stuff out. These things will just always run all right so we're going to be on the way back to the car and i figure we might as well see what's going on over here i'm actually on a mission i've been on a mission i've seen a lot of comments on monkey wrench mike's videos and people are saying he's never going to buy a truck he ain't never going to buy a truck i'm telling you monkey wrench mike is about to buy a truck and he's got me out here looking to see if i can find something don't worry he's looking himself but he asked me if I, you know, come across something that could be a good truck for him to please let him know. He told me what his budget is, and I'm here to tell you, he is legitimately looking for a truck. And I, too, am legitimately looking for a truck for him. Um, he doesn't need anything too crazy. He's just looking for something that he can use to haul cars on occasion and, you know, run around with a dog, a parts hauler type thing. But he said, he told me, he said, it's time that I, I get a truck, I've got to get one. And I said, I agree. It's time to find Monkey Wrench Mike a truck. Now this, this could work. I, when I'm looking for a truck for somebody, if somebody says, hey, help me find a truck, here's what I'm looking for. I don't care if it's a Ford, I don't care if it's a Dodge, I don't care if it's a Chevy, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. What I'm looking for is something that was prior to all of this new generation, uh, active fuel management, displacement on demand crap. We don't want any of that. We don't want any of that. Just need a truck that's gonna do what a truck is supposed to do, run and drive. This one, mm. <laughs> this fits the bill. This absolutely fits the bill for what he's looking for. Although I, I honestly don't think he needs a, a three-quarter ton truck. I don't. He, I don't. I don't think he needs a three-quarter ton truck. I think a half ton would be perfect for him. Um, that way it's comfortable and easy to get around and drive when you're not loaded. So, you know, it's, it's much easier to be a parts hauler uh, when it's a half ton pickup truck. I think he would, he would much prefer kind of a regular pickup truck not something with a diesel not some big crazy lifted thing not something with a utility bed although he could start his own roadside service with one of these right? he could monkey wrench mike he could be a roadside service mercedes bmw audi repairman he could do it he could do it okay well there you go that's the one, Monkey Wrench Mike, and it's a rebuild for your channel. They've got so many trucks out here, but I'm not seeing much over here that I think fits what he's looking for. Although I guarantee you, if he saw this one, Monkey, if you're watching the video, that one, buddy, that one right there, that one just, that screams Monkey Wrench Mike, you know? Put your logo down the side, big lifted truck. Man, What is, this thing's gotta have at least at least a six inch maybe maybe an eight inch lift on it <laughs> it'd be it'd be hard pressed to even climb up in this thing man it comes with a box of a box of something i don't know well we're running we're running short on the trucks on this side guys we're kind of just running and gunning on this side of the yard just to see if there's anything that might uh might suit his knee Ooh, ouch might suit his needs and i don't think so i don't think so so let's move on over to the other side and let's see what we can find over there. Oh, I know. Monkey Wrench Mike, 
I'll give you this one for a good price. No, I actually really, I really love my little truck. <laughs> I do. I love my little truck. I don't want to get rid of this one. All right. Let's go look at some trucks. You want to talk about trucks? Every time I come to Copart, and this is not a complaint, it, it's just interesting. It's every time I come here, everything is structured differently. <laughs> the cars are all in different places. I don't even know what is what anymore. I just walk around now and find whatever I'm looking at. You know, uh, whatever I find, I find uh, because I, I can't keep up. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing, but I mean, they keep rearranging cars. And now it looks like this whole section over here is now pick -em up trucks. And, uh, well, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for pickup trucks. And I, I already see a Ford that I really like. This is not, this is not one for Monkey Wrench Mike. All right. Like I said, he doesn't, he doesn't need something this big and crazy. And I don't think he'd want something this big. But this is a nice F-350 King Ranch Lariat Super Duty. Michelin tires, surely it's wrecked because this thing is absolutely beautiful. It looks almost like it rolled off showroom floor. Are you kidding me? Maybe they're moving all of their heavy duty trucks over here. Maybe that's what's going on. I can't imagine why this is here. What does it say? Uh, lost type, unknown, unknown. So it's not wrecked. Oh, this is so beautiful. The interior on these is really hard to maintain. It's a special, it's it's like real cowhide and they can get pretty tore. Oh, this is beautiful. Someone took care of it. Someone took care of it. Oh, I can promise you Monkey Wrench Mike would take this truck. I know he would. I just don't know if uh, if this would be in the budget. This is a, this is a lot of truck and these key ranches especially in this nice of condition, these things go for some money, guys. These things go for some money. I don't remember what engine is, is, is in this. Is it the, God, Ford, man, they've, <laughs> you know, here's something I like. You see this Chevy right here? This Chevy, I guarantee you, it's a 6.6 uh, Dirty Max. 6.6 Dirty Max with an Allison transmission. See, right there. You know what I love about that? Consistency, it's just consistent. However, Ford has just, boy, they had a great engine back in the day, the 7.3 Power Stroke. Can we have just, can we just a moment of silence for the dearly departed Power Stroke 7.3? Uh, that 7.3 was a great engine. Great, great turbo diesel. It had, I mean, it didn't have great power or a whole lot of torque, but it could get the job done, you know? And it was something that you could still work on yourself and then, and then this, you know, uh, I can't even figure out how to open the stupid hood on this truck. There it is right there. That's another thing Ford likes to change all the time is the locations of, of the hood release. You never know where it's going to be up here. Is it going to be over there? Is it going to be over there? Is it going to be down? Who knows? Who knows? What engine is in it? Who knows? They change engines like they change underwear. Now I know some of you Ford people will get really mad. That's just my opinion just one guy's opinion you know you don't have to agree with me and we don't have to hate each other because we can't agree on you know Fords I like Fords I do I love Fords and John you may remember Mercedes John he loves his Fords too I love Fords as well I think Ford makes beautiful vehicles I think they have and they still do to this day Ford makes absolutely gorgeous trucks with that said you know uh, I don't know, 6.4 turbo diesel. Again, I, I don't think this is something Bunker Ranch Mike is looking for, but I'm curious because it's sitting here and it looks pristine. I just have to know, does it run? Does it run? My booster pack is going to probably take a big hit on this, but I'm willing to risk it to see if this thing starts. We have power. We have power. Here's something that just occurred to me too. Over there is all the AT&T vehicles. They may have one or two AT&T trucks over there. And those might be something that would work out nicely for Monkey Wrench Mike too. Let's put the key in and uh, let's see what it does. 223,000 miles. We'll let it, let it do its thing here. Uh-oh, no. No. I don't think my booster pack is getting a good bite. This side is covered in uh, lots of corrosion. 
So it's only pushing 10.8 volts. My booster pack from starting all the other cars may just not have enough juice to start this, which is a shame, but I'm not gonna try it anymore because I don't wanna kill my booster pack to the point that I can't use it anymore. But I figured we'd give it a shot just because I'm I'm low-key interested in this truck myself. That's a, that's a nice pickup truck. I'm gonna put it on my watch list and you know, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll get it and maybe I won't. Well, unfortunately, it's not even on the Copart website. It says the lot no longer exists. So I don't know. Oh, there's what he needs. An excursion. Oh, could you see Monkey Wrench Mike rolling around in one of these blacked out windows, blacked out wheels? Oh yeah, man. Yeah. See, this is something that I think would be good for uh, for Monkey. I think, I mean, not this one, obviously. This one is smashed, but uh, a 1500, maybe even a 2500. You know, just a, a good old Chevy Silverado or an F-150 Ram 1500. We're just gonna continue looking around and we'll see what all we got sitting over here. See, here's another one. I like these. I like these. In fact, I'd buy one of these for myself. This one looks pretty good. This one looks really good, and it's a 2500. So, I mean, for hauling cars, obviously, a 2500 is gonna be better than a 1500. You're gonna get a lot of squat on a 1500, but if you're only occasionally hauling cars, a 1500 is perfect, because once you step up into the 25 and 3500s, you get a rough ride. They just ride rough, guys. It's, a, it's the nature of the beast, unfortunately. Um, they're really more designed for work. Whereas half ton trucks are designed for a little bit of work and mostly just driving around. This is four by four, this is perfect. Why is this here? Why is this here? Little dent in the bed. I don't think he'd care about that. The tires look good. This truck looks really nice. I'm a little, it says uh, hail damage is the reason it's here. Oh, it does have hail damage. See, I think that would, I think he would be fine with that. I don't think he cares about a little bit of hail damage. The interior looks relatively nice. Lot, lots of power options. It doesn't smell. That's another thing. It doesn't stink. You got room in the back for Lola. I need to put this on the list. I'm assuming this thing runs. What is this? We got a game. Game Red Sweets. Well, surprisingly, the truck smells good, though. It really does. It needs a window tent redone, but I mean, this is a lot of truck. I wonder how much something like this is gonna go for. Good old Vortec, it's gonna be the 5.3. It's a great engine. This is the same, oh, it's the 6.0. Ooh, okay, it's the 6.0 Optima yellow top battery. You've got Hydro Boost brakes, the engine coolant, is nice and orange. That's what you want to see. This is nice. This is nice. I think something like this would be absolutely perfect. I think it's dead as a doornail. I don't see any lights, but let's put the key in the ignition and just see if anything happens. It does. Oh, hold on. Let's turn that music off before I get in trouble. Oh, please. Yeah. Tell me it's got air conditioning. See, th this is perfect. Does the important window work? Mm -hmm. It does. You get the tint redone on that window. The rest of the windows actually look pretty good. Both windows work. Brakes feel good. It's got 181,000 miles on the odometer. The only warning light on is low fuel. Forwards backwards does both does it go into four high it does he's got working four by four or a quick like that's sharp as a tack this cold air conditioning this this could be it this could be it steering feels great it runs absolutely perfect the seat is comfortable Now, I didn't start this video with the intention of having to find Monkey Wrench Mike a truck. That's not what this video is really about, but I just want you guys to understand 
we're on a truck row, so I am looking at trucks. And because Micah Wrench Mike is my friend and he's looking for a truck, well, I'm, if I see something that fits the bill for him, I'm gonna look at it. But at the same time, I'm also looking at trucks that would suit me as well, because I am on the hunt for another truck. I'm gonna be getting rid of my Ram at some point and I want something that's paid off, something paid for that I don't have any payments on. And uh, I think something like this could be great. So if Monkey Ranch Mike wants it, it's his. But if he's not interested, I'm also looking for something for me. So it's not up for sale yet, but it is a pure sale, which means whatever it brings is whatever it brings. The insurance company is ready to just let it go. There's not a lot of room in the back. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely admit that. But these seats are so comfortable. I love these old school GM seats. Everything looks good on the dash. Still no warning lights, good oil pressure. Battery voltage is good. Temperature's coming up like it's supposed to. You've got trans temp gauges too. This thing, this thing is exactly what I'm looking for. And I think it's also what Monkey Wrench Mike is looking for. So either way, I'm waiting for this one to come up for auction. Moving on, but I also just noticed this. Underneath all of that, there must be a hitch because look, B and W trailer hitches. Uh huh. This thing's ready to work. Absolutely ready to work. Let's move on. Let's see what else we got out here. We got a. Uh, oh, there's a, another good work truck. Was it hail damaged? Was it an F250? Good old school truck, man. It is an F250 with the power stroke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She took a little bit of damage to that running board over here. I wonder what other damage there is. Let's take a, let's just take a quick peek. Oh, did it get rear-ended too? Or is it just missing the tailgate? What's going on back here? It's just missing the tailgate. That's fine. You can find that anywhere. Any junkyard will have that. Everything's ready to tow on this one. Tires look decent. The body's, you know, well, the body's decent, but I wouldn't say the body is in great shape. We're missing the missing the driver's door handle here. Can we still get in without cutting our fingers? Ah, hold on. That would be uh, something to address immediately. Looks like somebody just broke into it. You know what I mean? So that, that kind of sucks. But uh, well, it's got the, the pleather interior and pleather back seats. A lot of room in this one. A lot of room in this one. It doesn't smell the greatest. Again, though, you know, we're back to diesel and Diesel's got its perks. Diesel's also got its downsides. Oh, this, oh, the ignition's gone. There's the key, but somebody looks like they, they tried to bust out the ignition in this. Yeah, that, well, I, I think you could pretty well stick anything in there at this point and it would, and it would work for you. Let's take a peek under the hood, see what's going on. Turbo diesel. Let's just take a peek, see what things look like under here. See, this isn't too big of a truck. You know, it's a it's a good sized truck, but it's not not a massive truck. Oh, they took one of the batteries too, and there's spider webs under here. Lots of spider webs. Well, yeah, sucks. One of the batteries is missing. I wonder, I wonder what they did. But they probably sold whoever stole the truck. Probably sold one of the batteries before. Uh, this thing got found. Okay, well, we already know that my booster pack's running a little low on power, so trying to start up a dead diesel with a missing battery is probably not on our agenda today. We'll continue walking around and see if we can find anything else. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, this, well, this is for me. <laughs> That's what the, oh, look at that bumper. They used high metallic paint on this bumper. Look how beautiful that is. Why are you here? Lost type all over. Um, where? I'm, I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Cummins, Laramie, Longhorn, 2500. This thing is loaded. Oh, it is in beautiful condition Cummins high oh oh I didn't see that yeah okay well you know they don't have a whole lot of trucks in fact I only see one truck over there on the uh, 
on the AT&T side. That one's a fire that burnt down. Uh, there's an old Ford. Again, I, I don't know, guys. Lots of pickup trucks. I'm just not seeing much out here that is quite what, uh, what I or Monkey Wrench Mike are looking for. And it looks like as we're getting further down, they're getting, they're getting to be newer and newer, which means more and more expensive. But I think if we go down just a little bit more, oh, well, that's a fire too. That's a shame. I saw this and I thought, now that, that I could rock. I could rock this Ford. Look at that. No, no, that one's a little too far gone, guys. So is that one. And getting down here, we may find another oldie but a goodie. Then I'm about to turn around and uh, walk the other direction. Right here, right here. You see this? How bad is this one? Because I saw the back end sticking out and I said that, oh, oh yeah, no. This one's, uh, no, the front, it doesn't even have a front end on it, guys. <laughs> This one's a wrap. I walked all the way down here for nothing. There's, well, I don't, are those the front end parts for this? Yeah, I guess so. White bed, gray front. Well, no front end anymore. Okay. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna call it a wrap. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. And also consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.